Hey guys and welcome to the Akinon's YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how we can print literal curly braces characters as well as make use of the dot format method present in Python. So without further wasting time, let's get started. So what I've done is I've created a string of comprising of this given data and I've pro provided these slashes so that Python ignores this curly braces because I'm making use of the format function and I want to insert the number 42 at the index zero here since it's being formatted here and that is being and that is being performed using the dot format function. However, if I try to print this, it gives a key error saying that hello is present and it's not able to understand that hello is just a st string while it does not need to be formatted. So this is a big problem and to solve this issue we will not be actually making use of the dot format function and instead we will be making use of something called as an f string. So let me explain you what is an f string. So before that let me just comment this and make a small comment of f string. And basically f string was a new fun method or a feature created in python 3.7 and beyond that helps us in formatting our code so let me show you how i do it so let me create a variable of num 10 okay and let me create a print statement and all and all you need to do is before your quotation mark you need to provide a f character which tries to illustrate that you are making use of an f string and let's say I want to say that my age is 10. So all I need to do is say my age is and now I need to specify an opening closing bracket and inside that I need to provide the variable num because I'm trying to obtain the number 10 from there. And if I just run this, it says x is not defined. Okay, that was from this previous line. So let me comment this code line too. And if I run this, as you can see, it says my age is 10. So this is how we make use of an F string. So let me quickly just remove this code of explanation and let me head back to our problem statement and I'm uncommenting this line and I'm going to obviously delete the dot format function. And now instead of using these slashes, we will first thing initiate F an F string and we will provide double curly braces. So whenever, wherever we provide double curly braces, we are trying to tell Python that the data in the curly brace is not the variable that needs to be formatted. Instead, it simply needs to be printed. And now in, instead of that, I'll just put in num and let me quickly create a num variable over here and let me say num is zero. And all I need to do is now print x. And if I print it, as you can see, it printed the curly braces only a single time because the first time it was just to tell python that you need to ignore this and it did that and after that the single curly braces did a job and printed zero from the variable num stored likewise if i make changes and alterations inside the variable num that will be reflected on the output window so this solves the solution to our problem and we now can make use of curly braces as well as format our strings. So that's it from this quick video guys. If you like this video, don't forget to drop a like and share it with your friends and subscribe to the Akinon's YouTube channel for more fun and interesting videos.